Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can open up multiple windows of sight and also use the scriptlet tool to create the basic form of your script. If this is something that interests you, continue watching. All right, let's start. Let's start with the launching multiple instances of Site for AutoHockey. So let's open up Site. Now Site by default doesn't allow you for launching multiple instances. So if I if I launch it if I launch it again, that's just gonna highlight the existing instance of Site. Now you can create multiple tabs within the existing instance of Site, but that's not going to Type, but that's not going to necessarily open up uh, a new window of site. So if I go file new, that's going to create a new tab instead of opening a, 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 a new instance. Now you might come across situations where you may want to um, have you know two windows of site open up side by side. If you have a single monitor or if you have multiple monitors, you might want to have them open across the multiple monitors. So in order to do that, you have to change the setting. You need to go to options and then click open user properties. And then underneath where it says add here your own settings, you need to paste in some text that allows you to open up multiple instances of site. Now I have this text saved in my own website. So let me go to Chrome and then go to juho-lee.com click archive click auto hockey and then select the drop down list and then go to site user property setup for multiple site instances now here we have the text saved so what you have to do is copy the entire thing except for the the first line. The first line is just a comment so it's not going to do anything so it's totally fine to copy that as well and paste it into this line under this line here. I'll hit save. Now the shortcuts are completely configurable, so you can change the Control Shift and the letter um, as you wish. And Control Shift N will open up a, a new window, and it will open up the current file in a new window. Alt Shift N will open up also a new window of site, but it's going to open up a, a blank script. Now, let's go ahead and test it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a test line and then hit save save that as test script 4 um, now I'm gonna go in go ahead and hit control shift N and that opens up a new window of sight so I can have this on one one side of the monitor and have the other one on the other side right now alternatively I can just go alt shift and N to open up a new blank script and then have it side by side like this as well. So that's how you launch multiple instances of site. Now let's move on to the next topic. Close everything out. So next up is uh, how to use the scriptlet utility. Script utility is basically um, a function within site that allows you to reproduce what you would normally uh, start out your your script with. So, for instance, um, you will almost always going to be using single instance force and return. Now, what this single instance force does is it basically allows you to skip the warning window that asks you. Um, if you want to override an old instance of the script running. So to demonstrate, let me just wipe that out and then go ESC 
colon colon exit app what this is is basically this is saying if you press the exit button I want to exit the script so I'm going to have this saved let's test script 5 and then have it running by pressing this run script button now this script is running in the background um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the script again and what I'm gonna get is a warning a window that asks me if I want to override the old instance of the script running now in order to avoid this from avoid uh, this window from popping up what you can do is is to put in that single instance force in play and then if I uh, hit run script again to run it and then I'm going to run it again and this time I'm not going to get the warning window that says do you would you like to override the old instance of the of the script like that also I typed out return return before return marks the end of a script or end of a function um, basically it's indicating that you, you want to stop running the script there so when you first start out writing your script you'll almost always be typing these out so in, instead of doing it manually um, every time you write a new script what you can do is use the scriptlet utility now the scriptlet utility already has um, two templates set up like these two now what this basically is if you press this button that says insert into site it's going to insert these value into site like that so that's what scriptlet utility does and instead of um, typing out single instance force and return yourself uh, manually every time you write a new script you can put that in here to um, have scriptlet utility to reproduce that for you now if I get out and remove this these little icons here represent the two templates that you saw just now so if I click that the same thing is gonna happen so you can create an icon like that for your own uh, template as well now I'm just gonna go and delete the existing templates because I don't use them okay maybe I need to create a new one first and I'm just gonna go basic oh the old one's gone and then type out single instance force and return now I'm gonna hit save now that should have saved exit out and now I'm going to you see how the icons are still there I, I don't think they're gonna work if I press that so yep I, I do get an error edit so what we need to do is we have to go to the toolbar properties file and edit this oh there you go so in order to go to user toolbar properties you actually have to it took me there right now but if you want to go into the user toolbar properties manually you go right click and then go to edit user toolbar properties so we're here and what we need to do is we need to remove the references to the two scriptlet templates that we saw now remove that by deleting it and hit save and then go right click again and if we reload the toolbar what's gonna happen is those two are gonna go away like that and now we're going to add the basic uh, scriptlet that we have uh, saved by clicking this add to toolbar button so that's that gets saved and you can see that in the the user toolbar properties the, the the new reference has been created hit save and then get out now we're back into the the blank script now if you press this button it's going to reproduce single instance force and in return so that's it for this video thanks for watching and we'll see you next time